Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ranjani, Assistant Professor of Physics. Today, in semiconductor materials, we are going to solve a problem. Find the resistance of intrinsic semiconductor germanium. It is in rod shape. The length of the rod is given as 1 cm. The width is given as 1 mm and the thickness is also 1 mm. It is maintained at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. For this intrinsic germanium, Ni, Ni is the carrier density, that is density of charge carriers or number of charge carriers per unit volume. It is 2.5 into 10 power 19 per meter cube. The mobility of electrons is given as 0.39 m square bar Vs and mo mobility of holes is 0.19 m square bar Vs. The given data is written as given data. We are going to find the resistance of the germanium. The length of the germanium rod is given as 1 centimeter that is 1 into 10 power minus 2 meter and width or breadth is 1 millimeter which is 1 into 10 power minus 3 meter and the thickness is 1 millimeter 1 into 10 power minus 3 meter and Ni intrinsic carrier concentration is given as 2.5 into 10 power 19 per meter cube mobility of electrons 0.39 m square bar Vs and mobility of holes is 0.19 m square bar Vs. Here we are going to find the resistance in this intrinsic semiconductor germanium. The formula to be used is sigma i the electrical conductivity of this intrinsic semiconductor is Ni E mu E plus mu H ohm inverse meter inverse. Initially, we are going to find this and then we are going to reciprocate this electrical conductivity. So, then we will get the electrical resistivity. And then we know that resistivity is equal to resistance area of cross section divided by the length or A by L. Since we are dealing with intrinsic germanium, R i rho i should be written. So, this is the problem solution. We are going for finding out sigma i. So, Ni is 2.5 into 10 power 19 E. The charge of the charge carrier here is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 into mu E is 0 0.39, mu H is 0 0.19. These two get cancelled off. So, we get 2.5 into 1.6 into 0 0.39 plus 0.19 is 0 0.58. So, we get 2.5 into 1.6 into 0.58 is equal to 2.32 ohm inverse meter inverse. Now, this is electrical conductivity. We need to find 
rho i. Therefore, rho i is equal to 1 by sigma i. 1 divided by 2.32 ohm meter. 1 divided by 2.32 is rho i is equal to 0 0.4310 ohm meter. Then resistance is to be determined. Ri. So what is it? Rho i is equal to Ri a by L. We need Ri only. Therefore, rho i L divided by A. So, rho i is here 0 0.4310. The length is given as 1 into 10 power minus 2. The area can be taken as the remaining 2 data breadth into thickness. So, breadth is 1 into 10 power minus 3 and the thickness is 1 into 10 power minus 3. So, we get 0 0.4310 into 10 power minus 2 into this 2 10 power minus 3 and 10 power minus 3 is 10 power minus 6. It is taken over the numerator. We get 10 power plus 6. Therefore, 4310 ohm is the resistance of the given intrinsic semiconductor. Just a recap. Ri has to be determined. For that, Ni mu e mu h is given and the three dimensions of the intrinsic rod is given. Sigma i is equal to Nie mu e plus mu h. Electrical conductivity is determined. From this, electrical resistivity is calculated. From electrical resistivity, the resistance of the germanium is calculated.